You might be wondering, but I can't sing. That's not true. You might be bad at singing due to lack of practice, but you can sing. Here's how to improve at singing. In other words, how do you sing well? First, a little bit about my background. Back at MIT, I auditioned for a cappella groups, and the rejections broke my heart. I didn't sing regularly until I got a ukulele about two years ago. Singing has been important to me because I found my voice. I'm more comfortable in my body, and I feel less lonely. Let me clear up a common misconception. I'm not trying to teach you how to sing. In fact, you already know how to sing. You learned how to sing when you learned how to talk. Babies and children invent lots of songs. This is because speech is inherently tonal. This is more true of some languages than others. For example, in Mandarin, "Hi, my name is Elaine Lin," becomes "Ni hao," my name is Shilin Yiran. Even in English, you can have monotone speech where you repeat the same note over and over, and you sound like a robot. Or you can have questions, which sort of inflect upwards like this, and you start sort of curious. Woo! Okay, next let's go into concrete steps you can take to improve at singing. The important thing to keep in mind is that your voice is an instrument. You might not think it's a very good instrument, but that's because musical instruments require a lot of practice, and most people don't sing much. As an analogy, I sing and I play the ukulele. But I'd be awful if I picked up a violin. I don't think I'm bad at music, but if I just tried to play the violin, I would squeak and make awful sounds, and it sound bad. This is because the most important thing that determines whether an instrument, a voice, ukulele, violin, sounds bad or not is precision of pitch. That is, does the instrument make the right notes? In order to learn precision of pitch, you'll need to practice a lot and develop your ear. This is easy if you have musical background, harder if you don't. I'll get into concrete things you can do later. Okay. The general principle for practicing music. This is something I talked about in. How to learn your first song on the ukulele is three steps: sing, cringe, iterate. Again, that sing, cringe, iterate. The first step is the most important one: sing more. Sing to karaoke. Sing to your favorite songs. Have fun with it. If you're having fun with it, even if you sound terrible, then why does it matter? Who cares? But suppose you want to learn how to sing well. In order to do that, you will need to learn how to evaluate precision of pitch. If you don't have much musical background and don't trust your own ear, I would recommend singing games such as Rock Band, Guitar Hero, Karaoke. There's also Sing Sharp, which is a gamified app. Singing along with these games and apps. Is useful for you because they will evaluate your pitch until you can learn to do it yourself. Many of these apps will also show you a graph of pitch versus time. This is nice because you can see relative changes in your pitch over time. Okay, but suppose you already know how to evaluate pitch. For me, I started off with a lot of piano experience. The most important tip that helped me was to record my own singing. In that case, sing, cringe, iterate becomes record, evaluate, drill. What this looks like is I would sing and record my singing. Then I would evaluate precision of pitch when listening to the recordings. Finally, I would drill sloppy parts with a piano. Until they sounded right. To conclude, I hope this has inspired you to sing more, and you'll get better over time. 
For more information on why is your voice a musical instrument, I wrote a text guide on singing for beginners on Music Parse.